Hi, uh, I'm Venki Krishnaswamy. I head of Labs research and vice president of Avaya Labs. My name is Xiaotao Wu. Uh, I was a research scientist at Avaya Labs Research. My name is Kishore Dara. I'm currently the CTO and chief scientist at VT Parrot, a Silicon Valley based startup. Previously, I was a senior research scientist at Avaya Labs. The background uh, of the invention really was a, a problem that was very commonplace to those of us who attend a lot of meetings at work every day. Um, you get an invite in your calendar to attend a meeting and the invite contains a large string of digits. So imagine that you're on the road or in a car that's, that's stuck in traffic and, and you want to join a conference, obviously hands-free. This system can actually give you one-click access to every, all the resources that you need to join the conference call. We just thought we'd make that process a little bit simpler for, for users. At the beginning, like we did some one-click conferencing. We did some other like uh, uh, to get the data. And then like we got the idea and then start to building the prototype. The initial research team that worked on the Venus engine was uh, the set of people on the patent. Um, uh, you know, and, and we designed the core of the engine and the core of the algorithms. The background that the researchers bring in was really helpful. Well, for instance, I may be good in modeling and somebody else is very good in feedback mechanism and, and bringing in into that into the learning system. So that's the kind of give and take we had in this team. At the highest level, the goal of the patent or the goal of the work is to recognize what actions a user has to take to get into a meeting and that those actions might be to dial, as I said, a string of digits or to identify and click on a URL and follow, following that to sign in. What we said was that that information is contained in a calendar invite or in an email. And then the second step is to do the learning. Basically, we to learn about like, what the uh, really you know, user wants to do. And after learning, then we apply that to uh, make the uh, conferencing setup much easier. We constantly monitor everything that the user does, model the user behavior, and try to predict what the user may need so that if the user wants to join a conference call, it's just one click away. If the user wants to schedule a conference call or schedule a meeting, that's one click away. Personally, and I think I speak for all the inventors, uh, there could be no greater honor. When we first say, okay, our thing, our like, invention can be used and productized, that's really a, a very happy moment. And then when we say, okay, we got the honor, it's, re you know, it's really very pleased about you know, to get the honor. It's not just our job, but our passion to create. We see a problem uh, that, that requires some creative thinking, we solve it, and there's the satisfaction of seeing that solution in use, but to be recognized for it is, is icing on the cake. This is one of those awards where not only my grandchildren, but my grandchildren and grandchildren, when they talk about this, they don't need to be told who Thomas Edison is. In the history of humankind, there's no one who is associated with patenting then or innovation than Thomas Edison. So to get his award is, is especially gratifying. <laughs>